Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. Hi guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'd love to speak to you about good versus bad food. I know we all have a very different uh, opinion on what good food and bad food is and a lot of that is influenced by society, by media, especially by TV commercials. TV commercials that sold as milk as the thing that's gonna make your bones strong. Today I want to speak about that. What is a good and what is a bad food for your physique, for your digestive system and for your overall well-being. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Natalia and in this channel I share a bit of everything uh, that I'm going through in my journey. I share a bit of my fitness journey, trainings, all the things regarding fitness. Then I also share a bit of my career with you. I'm an actress and a model, so I share a bit of backstage, a bit of that. And I'm basically sharing mostly all the things I'm learning on my journey that are being helpful to me and I hope are going to be helpful for you at some point. So without further ado, let's go. I sleep with the a lot of people going on about how they don't want to call any food bad food because then when they do eat it they will feel guilty and it ends up making you feel bad other than the actual bad effects that it would have on your body it has bad effects mentally also so it's a whole big discussion and the reason why i wanted to speak about it is because what i understood and it really helped me shape the way I see food and the way I think of food is not seeing food as good versus bad but rather start seeing it as worth it versus not worth it so what does this mean when I speak about worth uh, there's a lot of different type of worth that food can have right so there's the nutritional worth which is the actual nutrients of it how is it gonna react with your body what is it gonna give to your body what's the amount of protein it has, what's the amount of good fats it has, what's the amount of bad fats it has, what's the amount of carbs, all the nutritional value of the food. That can be one of the worth uh, definitions of it. There's also the worth it part about how much you enjoy it, right? And it's all about balancing out these things, right? So there's this food, for example, pancakes. What's the nutritional value of pancakes, depending on how you do them, but let's speak about normal pancakes here. What's the nutritional value of pancakes? How is your body gonna react to pancakes? How is your digestive system gonna treat those pancakes? And then wait on the other side. Okay, so how is this pancake gonna make me feel in terms of, is it one of my favorite foods? Is it in terms of taste, one of the things that I enjoy the most? Is it one of the foods that I always wanted to have for my birthday when I was a kid? All these things, right? That are more towards your experience with food and your own personal um, taste. And the reason why I think it is worth it and not worth it is because a lot of people that are putting these foods into the categories of good or bad, are doing it because they are trying to achieve some specific objectives physically. I'm not saying that's the case for everyone, but I think that's the case for a massive amount of people that are saying, okay, this is good and bad food. So good food is whole bread and bad food is white bread. Good food is brown rice, bad food is normal rice all these things and they do it with the purpose and with the belief that they will maybe lose weight or maybe they will stay in a shape that they would like if they only stick to the good foods. The reason why this is massively, massively incorrect is because the fact that something is good regarding the way it's composed and the nutritional value other than the calories doesn't mean that it's good in terms of society and it doesn't mean that it's good in terms of the calories it will give you. If you have a specific goal with your body and if that goal happens to be weight loss, 
it's all gonna be about calories it's all gonna be about calories in calories out no one can go above the law of thermodynamics so that's just how it works if you consume less calories than the ones you use you're gonna lose fat if you consume the same calories that you that you're using you're gonna stay at your body weight and if you consume more calories than the ones that you're using you're gonna gain weight that's just how it works for all of us from beyonce to everyone 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 everyone's body is going to work in this way so yeah there's some difference metabolically there are some people that will have different with their digestion this is not going to make the biggest difference the biggest difference is going to be the calories you consume right so when i speak about worth it and not worth it food i mean you need to be conscious and you need to know that what you're eating has a certain amount of calories is really helpful to see food and to see what you're eating so this specific food for example rice let's say it has i'm not sure but i'm gonna put it right here i would say around 200 calories for 100 grams i'm not sure i'm gonna put it here white rice for example and then you find the fact that this rice will have i don't know probably zero protein and it will have a certain society level the society level is something that is already determined i'm gonna put you a chart here when we speak about society we speak about the capacity that a certain food has to fill you up so to make you feel not hungry anymore and this is heavily important because if you want to stick to diet plan if you want to stick to your goals when it comes to food and when it comes to nutrition you need to be mindful and you need to be super, super focused on not being hungry. Because when you're hungry, that's when you're going to make the bad decisions. That's when you're going to feel miserable about the nutritional decisions you're making. And that's when you're going to want to change everything, right? So when you compare, for example, that rice versus, um, for example, cauliflower rice, which is a cauliflower made in form of rice and it has a kind of similar texture. And you realize that the same amount of cauliflower as your portion of rice has less than one fifth of the calories. So a portion of cauliflower rice must have around 20 to 30 calories. And the massive factor to consider here is that it will not only satisfy you a bit more, but it will probably also give you the chance to add more food, so maybe to add 200 grams of green beans to your plate. And at the end, you're gonna have a much bigger plate with much more volume and maybe even a higher nutritional value because vegetables will be a bit better for you in terms of micronutrients that rice will be. And then again, if you finish your meal and you're going to be satisfied, it's probably going to be much, much easier for you to actually stick to a diet plan or to your goals regarding food. So I just wanted to clarify that in terms of when I mean worth it, I mean, is it worth it regarding the amount of calories? Is it worth it regarding how your digestion reacts to it? And is it worth it regarding the actual amount of nutrients it has, the amount of protein, the macros, etc.? And is it worth it in regards of how much do you actually like it? How, how is it going to make you feel? Not just in the short term when you eat it, but also in the long term. Tomorrow when you know you've eaten that the night before. Are you going to feel guilty? All these things are things that are, that are much more realistic in regards of what is worth and what is not worth putting inside your body. So I'd like to put you some examples here, just so that you kind of compare and you kind of have an idea of what I mean because it's much easier when you actually see it with food than just me ranting of two different choices that are kind of similar but some of them can be maybe more worth it than the other ones so after having watched these examples please don't hesitate to write down in the comments below which foods you think are worth it more than the others and while you're there please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel it will help you watch the next videos and it will also be a tremendous help for me and again when i say worth it food i mean if there's something i completely like that it's outside of my calories if i'm a crazy fan of pizza and it's my birthday and i want to share pizza with my friends or something it's probably going to be worth it for me to do it that day and it's going to be worth the efforts I'm going to make the rest of the week. That those calories I overate are going to balance out with the rest of my food decisions. And I just give you some examples so that you have a better idea. But what I'm trying to transmit here or what I'm trying to share is that you shouldn't see food as good and bad food. 
simply because it's not right. It's exactly like putting people into boxes like, oh, he's good and he's bad. When you see a movie, a Disney movie, and you see the villain, you can see that no one is good and bad. Some people are bad because they had a rough childhood, because they had some horrible things happen to them, because they're insecure. I find that putting things into boxes like that and being so uh, black or white is just being unrealistic about the world we live in. So it's much more interesting to open your mind and be like, okay, this is worth it for me today. Uh, maybe 200 grams of strawberries are more worth it for me than 200 grams of bread. Even if maybe I would enjoy bread a bit more in the short term in regards to how my digestion reacts to it, for example. It's much better to see food like that and this will make you actually do the right analysis and do the right choices when you decide what you put into your body and when you don't put into your body rather than categorizing things and then feeling good or bad because you eat them without actually taking into account everything that it represents to have something in your plate and to put something in your body. I hope seeing food in this way can somehow be helpful for how you determine your choices and how you feel about food. And that's it, I hope it was useful to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.